there's a level of physicality and aggressivity that you see uh, that I defined as playoff basketball. And I thought, I think there's also a limit. And I thought that line was crossed on more than one occasion. And that's what the league is for, to police that stuff. Missing the, those two pieces, obviously, uh, there's going to be a difference in uh, just personnel-wise what we have on the floor. We're not going to try to reinvent the wheel, but we'll make the adjustments that we have to. You know, we're 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 hurting for what happened to Kev. You know, on a, on a team level, on a personal level, but not discouraged to the point where we we are any less ambitious or any any less hungry to continue on this path. Uh, we got Jr. down now for for two games, and we'll make up for that too, because that's what we have to do, and we're determined to do so. You said at the start of the playoffs that it, it can't be just about LeBron, it can't be just him, but in this particular situation, how much does that help having a guy like him that you can rely on? Immeasurably, obviously. And he, you know, he was uh, he was great in the Boston series, and he led his 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 his, his guys. And I thought that you know the other guys really stepped up as well. Uh, we had four players uh, with double doubles in the last game. That says something. That's without Kevin Love, who, who is our double double guy. So other guys are stepping up, and other guys are recognizing the moment. You know, we we want to a closeout game in Boston basically without two of our starters, and that's what we're going to see come the beginning of uh, the next series, whoever it may be. You know, and we, we, we're ready to face that challenge and, and, uh, and hungry to do so.